It's 5 p.m. and you haven't gotten a phone call all day. I think it's safe for me to get up and use the bathroom. No, no, wait. We'll be getting a call in a few minutes. You said that two hours ago. Well, I was wrong. Nobody's perfect. Well, what if you're wrong now? I'm not. Just wait. If the phone rings when I go to the bathroom, you can just as easily answer it yourself. Well, I'm not paying you to use the bathroom. Face it, nobody likes you. You're not going to get a phone call. Hello, Samuel Jones' office. Grace speaking. Name? Address? Phone number at which we are to contact you? And what is your relationship to the victim? And... Oh, what do I do next? What's my next question? Victim's name. Victim's name? Victim's name? All right, thank you. I'll have Mr. Jones contact you within 24 hours. Bye-bye. Now, if you'd have went to the bathroom, you would have missed that call. Can I go now? No, they might call back with more info. And what if we get another customer? What do you want me to do, take a leak in a cup? Not a bad idea. Let me go get one. Sit down. I'm not going to do it. Now, you want to know if a customer or not? Sure. Okay, her name is Lydia Stevens. She wants her husband, Clark Stevens, dead because she wants this muchos money. Uh, she wants him dead within three days because she believes he's getting ready to file for divorce. You know, he's not very original. I once heard a story about a guy who wanted his wife dead because he thought that she was sleeping with his brother whom he was already having incest with. Oh, no, just, that's disgusting. Stop, please, no more. Three days? Jeez, I'm not a machine. Neither am I, so let me go. I was right, and you were wrong. Everybody loves me. I hate you. Well, you're nobody. You don't count. Everybody loves me. When I asked for this job, I had no idea you were going to be this egotistical. I'm not egotistical. I'm just a great guy. No, you're an asshole. Hmm. Samuel the asshole. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? I don't care what you say anymore. I'm going to the bathroom, in the bathroom, in the toilet, not in my chair, in a cup. Capiche? Capiche. Women. Now, it's possible for me to do it within three days, but it'll cost a little extra money. How much total? Well, it depends on how you want me to do them in. Well, what's the cheapest way? Do it yourself! <laughs> uh, well, you're no fun. Anyways, I think the cheapest way to do it is to shoot him and hide the body. Well, isn't that messy? Yeah, but it's possible. Now, for an extra two grand, I can make it really clean and poison it. What you do is put this tablet in a glass of water. It makes quite a tasty drink. All they have to do is take one sip, and no matter what, they'll die within five minutes. Even the paramedics can't help them. They can try throwing up, but it doesn't help. Afterwards, we can hide the body. Well, it's tempting, but I don't want to spend that much money. Let's just do the whole shoot him and hide the body thing. How much? Uh, ten grand. Ten grand? What do you need ten grand for? Hey, it's me who's running the greater risk, not you. I request twenty-five hundred up front. Fine, let me go write a check. No, no, no. I need cash. Banks are very curious of checks. Fine. I'll get the cash from the safe. So how'd you hear about me? I heard about you. I've got my connections. Fair enough. What's in this for you? I get the girl and the money. What else could I ask for? Here you go. And you'll have 7500 by the time you're finished. In cash. In a briefcase. Deal. Well, I got the job, and within a couple of days, I'll be receiving a nice big paycheck of $2,500. whoop ba dee doo when can I go on vacation? Not now, I need you now. I'll be gone most of the day. Why? My brother Chris is in town, and I want to spend some time with him. Too bad you're working. I hate you. Good for you. No, I mean I really hate you. You're entitled. I'm surprised no one's been paid to whack you. Me too. Can I ask you a personal question? Jeez. Why did you become a hitman? Because I like dangerous toys and I didn't want to become a cop. Money's not too shabby either if you ask me. 
before I could show it off. If people knew the kind of money I had, they'd be really suspicious. Wait till I retire and move to the Bahamas. Oh, you're taking me with you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh no, I'm not. You can stay here and die for all I care. Such a caring boss. Well, I really shouldn't be telling you this, but I found a way to get rid of Clark and keep all his money. How do you manage that? Hire a hitman. Oh, hire a hitman? That's crazy! Angela, shut up! Don't scream it for the neighbors to hear. Sorry, but are you crazy? Yeah, and what if you get caught? I'm not gonna get caught because I'm not doing anything. He's <sighs> doing it, not me, Christy. I still say it's insane. Well, I don't care what you think. Besides, I met a really nice guy. Oh, tell us. Well, his name is Scott. Oh! And he's really sweet and really cute. <sighs> Watch out, those can really sting you. I've been there, sweetie. Me too, but he's different. He's kind of mysterious. Oh, is he single? <sighs> not since he met me. Oh. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. Not only are you killing your husband, but you're having an affair? Girls, for once I'm truly happy. I haven't been this happy since I was 14 and got my first kiss. You're so lame. I can't believe you're actually going through with this. Well, I don't care what you think. If you don't agree with what I'm doing, then you can leave, because I'm sick and tired of hearing you complain. Fine, at least I'm not a slutty murderer. Get out! I hate to say it, but I think she's right this time. You really need to think this one out. You too! Get out! Fine! Sorry for trying to help. <sighs> Tomorrow's the big day. Are you excited? Yeah, because after that I can finally kiss you in public. <laughs> well, I have to be in mourning for at least a month. And then we have to start dating, and then you can kiss me. That's too long. I know, but I'm worth the wait. Yeah, I guess so. Well, don't worry, I'll wait for you. Thank you. I can't wait to see the look on Clark's face. You're gonna be there? Of course, aren't you? Yeah, if you are. I wonder what his last words will be. Look, I don't think we should be discussing this in public. Well, you're right. Besides, Clark's expecting me home any minute. I'll see you tomorrow at four? Tomorrow at four? Got it. I'll see you then. I love you. I love you too.